Welcome to our video on loading spreadsheets or CSV files. Not only does Yellowfin have the ability to connect to a database or data source, but we also allow you to upload your spreadsheets or CSV files. To do this, we are going to create a report. Traditionally, I would just select one of the data connections listed. At this time, I'm going to click the down arrow and select the load CSV file. I'm now presented with a screen where I will select the writable data source. If one does not exist, with the proper authority you can make a data source writable, or you could create a new data source. If you aren't able to make a data source writable, or create a new one, this will prevent you from going further at this point, and you will need to speak with your administrator to have this functionality enabled for you. Once I've selected the data source, I'm going to use the load CSV button here at the bottom of the screen. I'm then presented with the common file loading window in Yellowfin. I can click inside the box to browse files, or I can click the browse files link, or I can simply drag and drop files into the window. Get my CSV there. The advanced settings is where I can make some preload adjustments to the load of the file. I can define the field separator if I've used something besides a comma. I can also designate the precision I want to use. Low precision examines the first 1000 rows of my CSV to determine the field type. If your load will not work initially, you may need to adjust this to high precision, which will examine all of the rows in your CSV to determine the column type. Once I've selected these parameters, I can then click on the prepare data button. I'm now presented with the first 20 rows of my data. I can make adjustments to the name of the column by double clicking and typing. I may need to make adjustments to the column type. As you can see here, insured ID is showing as a decimal data type. I don't need that decimal or that thousand separator, so I'm going to come in here and set my decimals to zero, turn off my thousand separator, close that up, and now the insured ID is looking more like an ID in my database. These date fields here are showing as varchar. In order for me to use them as date fields, I will need to enable the advanced function here at the top. As I click on that, I select date conversion. I then select the field that I would like to convert to a date, in this case start date, and click create. I'm now presented with the conversion window. I need to enter the format. If I have a question about the way the format should be entered, I can click on that I and it will give me more information. In my case, I know that I have a month, day, year, and century. So I'm going to do my month, day, and year. As you can see below, as I did that, my sample data turned blue, indicating I entered it correctly, and then I got a check over here to the right. Click Save. And now that I'm happy with my data, made the conversions I need, I can click Finish, and this will bring me right into my report creation dialog. From here I can begin to enter items onto my report. I can bring in that insured ID. And as you can see, I'm now able to create reports off of my imported CSV. Thank you for watching and please see our other videos for more quick tutorials.